Hi, I'm Simon and we help people become more confident sailing cruisers. And what we love about this life is when we get people on board and we show them what the life's like. And we had an amazing guest the other day. It was our nephew, Nate. He had a fantastic time. He flew in from North Carolina and we just had the most amazing time. And boy, does he talk. And this is what we got up to. So what are we doing, guys? We're cooking, right? Broccoli and pasta yeah, and garlic. Oh, we need legumes. That's what we need. <gasps> With the relaxation of COVID restrictions and knowing that we're soon taking Britikin north to America, we only had one week open where Nate could come visit us while still in the Caribbean. This was the week. Oh, good job, Nate. Well, uh, we got a little squall as we were bringing up the anchor and it's going to stay down there like a trooper. The kids can't swim in the lagoon, so our plan is to sail over to Grand Cass. Got a rainbow right there. Bridge is getting ready to open. The forecast for the week isn't looking good for sailing. The winds are too high. We're hoping to get to the island of Ilfashu, but we'll have to see how it goes. Once anchored, the kids played in the water the whole entire afternoon. It was too windy for sailing the next day, so we went to land. We hired a car, and our first adventure was Lottery Farm, where you can do a tree okay, course. Nate. Woo! See you later. Bye, Sime! <laughs> <laughs> the horse has a variety of zip lines, tight ropes, and ladders. It takes two hours to complete. No break, no break. No break. Break, break, break. So much fun. <laughs> that was yeah, good. great. Yeah? It was awesome. The next stop on our land adventure day was the famous Maho Beach, where you can watch planes land and take off. enjoyed the beach and the plains so many times, yet it just never gets old. After a day of adventure, we all headed home and slept like logs. The forecast for wind wasn't improving, but sometimes it's not accurate. We decided to poke our nose out and see what it was like. We went back into the bay, ate, packed the sail, and Simon and Nate dove on the anchor. The plan for tomorrow was to try one more time to get out sailing and make it to Ilfrashu. It's there, I can see that. 
Are we catching this cat? That's all that we that's all that matters. We're definitely catching it. It was a little rough getting to Ilfershu, but we made it. This little island that is a part of St. Bart's is totally deserted. You can only get here by boat. We were so happy to share this special place with Nate. The next day we had to return, however, to St. Martin, and boy, it was a rough ride. It just doesn't ever show how kind of turbulent it is. Yes. You show that to your friends a bit, but it looks flat. Yeah, it looks really flat, but it's not. <laughs> oh, we're going to get hit by this one, aren't we? talking you're just gonna get sick. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up on Simon. Ow. What do you have to say about that Simon? It's happened before. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up on your white shirt and it's gonna stain it. Help me! Help me. <laughs> oh god I'm scary. Like sick even when I'm talking looks like I'm gonna have to just start saying random words. Oh. You should just all YouTube. ignore him. You can't. You can't ignore me. I am. I'm shy. Ooh. I'm shy. Bye, <laughs> girl. <laughs> to what, Sam? To family. Family. As Nate's week with us was drawing to a close, we had to get him back to the lagoon. In the morning, we took him for breakfast and then enjoyed watching some of the big boats exit the Simpson Bay Bridge. With COVID, it's been difficult for all of us not being able to see family. We were so grateful to have Nate with us for the week. We missed him and love him so much, and it was wonderful to see him. Next time, we hope to get his sister Emma and his brother Tyler out with us too. So if you want to see what the life's like, why don't you come sailing with us for a week or so? Or if not, you can subscribe to us and follow our videos. Okay, so that's it for now. Bye!